what's up guys hope everybody's doing well and having a great day in this video we're going to germany and apache junction arizona where more unusual lights have been spotted this time in the night sky the one over here in germany by mark it's a video actually it was a collection of three videos he shared with me this object in the sky does something that i don't think any of us have ever seen very very interesting also in this video i have a brand new picture slideshow new high octane photos of the sky sent in from all around the world and also we're going to take a closer look at a near earth object that back on the 13th according to the list here was a zero LD miss distance implying that the asteroid could have impacted the earth back on the 13th that would be 2020 VT4 we're going to take a closer look at that as well but first we're here at the International Space Station image sent in by Sean Tay T from Mesa Arizona was watching the ISS live feed and noticed these things here that look like rivers they had never seen this before on the ISS and I gotta be honest I've never really seen anything quite like this either white rivers they just looked out of place and this is above the ocean somewhere i don't know exactly where shante shared five photos with me i'm going to share two this one and this one here of what appear to be to me some sort of a underwater volcanic eruption and that's what's creating these things that look like rivers i think these are some sort of underwater plumes Again, I don't know where this is at, but I don't think this is on land because, number one, rivers aren't white. You know, you can tell a river when you see one. In fact, I've seen the Amazon on the uh, International Space Station. I think the Nile, too. I've, I've seen rivers on here before, and they didn't look like this. Um, I mean, they kind of did, but this looks more like something underwater because this, again, is out over the ocean. So just interesting photos. Another observation, a unique observation. Notice from the ISS by Shante out of Mesa, Arizona. Since we're here at the website, we will check in on the Schumann Resonance and the mighty Yellowstone supervolcano Caldera. Checking out the Schumann Resonance. All in all, pretty quiet. Got a little bit of activity that can be traced back to the sun. Hopping over to the supervolcano Caldera. Another day at the office, we're seeing a steady flow of small amounts of energy on the seismographs around the supervolcano Caldera. Once again, though, these red markers indicate earthquake activity and we're seeing it on some not all of the seismographs which is interesting not necessarily a huge deal but again those are earthquake signatures on the seismograph so we're keeping a close eye on Yellowstone like we always do we just don't want to come over here and see these things all dark blue after all it is a super volcano caldera and I would expect to see some activity at the seismographs around the caldera. Speaking of activity, we're going to go up to space where here recently, and I'm over here at spaceweather.com, and they have an ongoing list of near-Earth asteroids. And back on the 13th, you don't see this very often. In fact, you hardly ever see a zero LD, and that would be in the miss distance category. You can see 0 0.5 back on the 11th we've got one coming up that's 0 0.1 and those are in between the earth and the moon and those are considered extremely close when you have one that says zero you assume it impacted the earth right six meters in diameter that's about 20 feet about the size of a dump truck and the number of the asteroid was 2020 v t4 so I went and looked up 2020 VT4 from right here at spaceweather.com, and the list is right down here at the bottom. In fact, it's still on there. See right there? Zero LD. That implies impact, or it came so close that it looked like it was going to impact the Earth. And I went to the JPL orbital diagram, which is right here, and you can see 2020 VT4, which is right there. And I mean, it came extremely close, but I think... I'm not 100% sure it made it past the Earth. I don't know, but when it says zero on this chart, that's usually an indication that it impacted the planet somewhere. And again, if it did at six meters, that is 20 feet, approximately 20 feet wide, that would be the size of a dump truck. 
So maybe it was out over the ocean, like these photos here. Considering most of the Earth is covered with water, there's more meteors and asteroids that enter the Earth over the ocean that go unnoticed than they do over land. So maybe it did enter the atmosphere and it was not noticed because it was out over the ocean. I don't know, but that is very rare to see a zero LD. An LD means lunar distance. And that would be like when it goes up to one lunar distance, that's the distance between the Earth and the Moon. 0.5 is halfway between the Earth and the Moon. Zero would be an impact. So, don't know. I haven't heard of any large fireballs being spotted here recently in the atmosphere. There's a few every day, but haven't heard of any recently. Got some lights in the sky west of Apache Junction. Video sent in by Lynn W. back on November 14th of 2020. They're looking west. And that would basically be out in the desert area between the Phoenix area and Apache Junction, which is over near the Superstition Mountains. These are some sort of lights in the sky. Not claiming to know what these are. They aren't either. They're just rare. They don't see these hardly at all. That's why they were compelled to record these lights. In that capacity right there, they're shaped like a triangle. And then there's another one that pops up over here. And this is a cactus in the foreground. Put it in slow motion. I tried to, to zoom in just a little bit. And there's the lights right there. You can tell they are in triangle formation. Almost appear to be blinking maybe. Difficult to tell what color, if any color, they may just be white. Again, those were observed from Apache Junction, looking west, back on November 14th. Just like this video here, November 14th of 2020, sent in by Mark out of Germany, 1 a.m. He noticed a light off in the distance here, and you can see it right there. And he knew right away it wasn't an airplane because you're going to see an airplane in this next video segment that he sent me three videos of this object. In one of the videos, you can see an airplane coming in, moving from right to left. 1 a.m., mysterious object in the sky from Germany. Again, videos taken by Mark. Here's the first, and this is the original footage, unedited exactly the way I received it. See the airplane over here, or up, up here coming in? This light right here, that's an airplane. This one here is not an airplane. Watch what this thing does. It's quite remarkable. It does something that I've never seen a light in the sky do. A lot of times we see mysterious lights in the sky and they're just points of light that don't do anything. Watch what this thing does. Does a maneuver that is just not a characteristic of an airplane, of a helicopter. I'm not the oracle of knowledge on drones, though. Maybe this is some sort of weird drone that's shaped like a horseshoe. Check that out. Incredible footage. Now I zoom in, and then I'll go into a slow motion and enhanced format of this really good close-up segment right here. And this thing, once again, is shaped like a horseshoe in the sky stops on a dime and goes backwards just instantly in midair. We don't have anything that does that that I know of. It was perfectly quiet, didn't make any sound. Here it is in enhanced formats. You're going to see four different versions of that same segment that I just showed you that they clearly showed the shape of this object. Looks like a horseshoe in the sky. Here it is in a negative format. Light is dark, dark is light. And that's the object almost, I don't know, it looks like it's shimmering. Um, it's difficult to tell, but that is an excellent video sent in by Mark out of Germany, taken at 1 a.m. of some sort of a, a mysterious craft. that, like I said, was moving forward, stopped literally instantly in midair, and then started going backwards. And it was shaped like a horseshoe. Incredible footage out of Germany. Thank you, Mark, for sharing. Got some more high-octane photos sent in from all around the world. This one here was quite stunning. Sent in by Virginia out of Wisconsin. Look at those clouds. They had never seen anything like that in the skies of Wisconsin in her entire life. That was the first time seeing any clouds like that, and I gotta admit, they are rare. Tracy, Cave Creek, Arizona, big towering thunderhead reaching up into the sky, glowing gold and orange from right out here in Arizona. Shane out of Australia, you can see the leading edge of a light purple shelf cloud over Australia. Will G out of Lakeland, Florida, more light purple clouds as a storm is rolling over central Florida. And there's the moon peeking through the clouds. Hayes, Oklahoma, Tammy S., 
Got a purple sky, rare purple sky over Oklahoma. And here we've got some rain shafts, rain pouring down out of the clouds in Oklahoma. Shine to T out of Muskogee, Oklahoma. Big beams spanning up across the horizon. Those are called crepuscular rays. Ontario, Ryan S. Notice what it looked like. A perfect triangle or pyramid shape up in the sky in the middle of the clouds. Detroit, Michigan, Russell K. Got what looks like yet another triangle shape object up in the sky. Maribel S. out of the Philippines. This is unedited. Dark pink sky, glowing pink off of the ground. Rosa out of Miami. This is a incredible sunset. Got a very unique bright orange cloud up in the sky. Kind of like these clouds here out of Kansas, sent in by Leroy. These are some incredible orange mammatus clouds. Don't see this very often. Kind of a golden orange. Absolutely beautiful skies. Keep the photos coming, guys. You are wide awake and on the ball. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website. And sometimes I'll use them in a video slideshow, just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day. And be safe out there.